welcome back to my channel i know y'all thinking like okay it's been months where ashley been well yeah. um so today i'm going to keep to my promise that i made i don't know how many months ago and open this box and i know you're also thinking like ashley we ain't seen your face in like months and then you're gonna start this video and not show your face but you get to see my lovely hands instead so yay anyway um so this is my ambassador box that i got from Racoma for being a brand ambassador shout out to Racoma, love y'all um i have not looked in this box it's been here for months i want to say since like i don't know i have to go back and look at my post but i think it's like april not sure um but yeah so it's been a long time and i have not opened it i did cut it for easy access for this video but uh, yeah we're gonna dig right on in and see what's in the box what's in the box lots and lots of packing peanuts my kids is over here welcome to the Rakuma family so cute and um i do have monthly check-ins with my ambassador rep and they ain't been like, Ashley, where your video at? So yay for them, because, you know, life. But anyway. So, first thing is a folder. And it just talks about the Brand Ambassador program and all that good stuff. Fun stuff for me to read later. Oh, it's over here. Got a nice little water bottle. And keep big. Yep. Go. Oh, I'm gonna have peanuts everywhere. Y'all, yeah, I might have left this in there so long and then stuck this bag on shirt. It's okay. I'm gonna wash off. It's a Rakuma shirt. Once I get all the peanuts off of it. It says bold. Big bold beyond. Think for Kuma. I have to wash that. Not their fault, my fault for leaving it in the box for months. I'm telling y'all, like I literally have not opened it. It's been in here for months. Oh, a nice notebook. And a lanyard. Oh my. Two my gear. And a nice tote bag. To put all my Rakuma gear in. More peanuts. And the paper. Oh my god, I don't have peanuts anymore. I just cleaned my craft room. Like, um, yeah. And an eight and one. Um, I have one already kind of like this. I'm not sure if this is the newer one or the same one. Either way, it's always good to have two sets of the same hoop. Um, pro tip, because when you got multiple things to embroider and you got one hoop, then you gotta wait for it to finish so you can re-hoop and then start the next garment. But if you got two sets of the same hoop, then you can just hoop the next garment and throw it on the machine when the other garment's finished and then hoop the next garment. Keep your production flowing. So yeah. Um, so, yes, I will be definitely putting this 8-in-1, oh. and I'll open the box in a sec so you guys can see what's in it. Everything else is just satisfying packing peanuts. Woo! Sucks my nail. Move that out of the way. Okay, so we got our eight and one. Now, where's my knife? Oops, I bang it. It's not a knife. What did we do? Ooh. 
Okay. Yes, so this is one like I have. It's great. Um, if you guys go and watch some of my other videos, you'll actually see me using this to make bunny ears. Um, I used it recently for Christmas to embroider slippers. Um, and I didn't record like a full tutorial, but I recorded like a short of me doing that. So I'll post that at some point too. I will say the slippers, while they came out nice, they could have came out better, but it was the slipper that I used. It was like a yarn type of slipper. Ooh, wow, sorry y'all. And um, the, stitch, the stitch is really, really, really sunk in there. Got my, my hoodie all dirty. Mama needs coffee all the time. So yeah, you got your little ones, which are good for like sleeves. And I like to use these on like baby garments and stuff. Another small one for perfect again for sleeves. Um, this is good for the back of a hat. This is the bracket that mounts into the machine. Actually my, oh no, never mind. It doesn't have it. I thought my machine already had one on there because I embroidered something um, recent. Actually it was Christmas, but yeah. That was what, like two weeks ago? But anyway, um, nice good square one, which is like slightly bigger than a four by four, but not as big as a five by seven. Nice long one for, again, a sleeve, but like if you wanted to, you know, yeah. And then this one, I don't know if I have one like this. I don't know the other one, I probably do. I just never used it. But anyway, this one would probably be good for a sock. If you, your sock was big enough, because remember, you still got to fit over the arm of your embroidery machine, which is usually the problem. Um, but yes, yeah, so all of the things that I got. Yay. Yay. Um, so again, thank you to Rakoma for sending my, me my welcome kit. I am sorry that it took me months. To record opening it i'm sorry to y'all too but i'm excited to be a brand ambassador excited to tell more people about racoma i mean i was doing it before i was a brand ambassador because i love my racoma um no matter how much people talk trash but anyway won't go there but yeah um so thank y'all for watching i'm gonna put this stuff up like i said i was literally in the middle of cleaning my craft room and i'm like you know what this box been sitting here forever, y'all. Mm -hmm. um, and your girl needed to open it and get it, you know, so she could put the stuff away. Because she's trying to keep a tidy your craft room, you know, so she can record more content for y'all, right? Mm -hmm. But until next time, I will talk to y'all in the next video. Bye.